everyone, my name is Lisa and I am a fitness instructor at Centennial Community Center. Now in light of everything that's going on right now, I imagine that if you're like me, your fitness routine has just gone up in the air and things are really unpredictable right now. So if you want to work out at home, I actually have a video here that has a Pilates workout that you can do at home. All you need is a mat and a little bit of space. Should be pretty easy and it'll take you about 40 to 50 minutes to complete. I'll talk you through it as we go, uh, but remember to always honor your body and take lots of rests. Grab water when you need to and the most important thing as always is just to enjoy yourself and have fun. Cool. Good luck. All right, let's start at the end of your yoga mat. Feet about hip width apart, standing nice and tall with your arms at your side. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Do that again. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Start to connect with your breath. Every time you exhale, draw your belly button closer towards your spine. And the next time you exhale, begin to round your way all the way down, dropping your fingertips towards your toes. As you exhale next, begin to roll your way slowly back up, lifting the crown of your head nice and tall and rolling your shoulders back and down. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Bring your chin to your chest, round through your upper back, the middle of your back and into your lower back. Fingertips drop lightly to the mat. You stack your spine as you exhale. Again, nice deep breath in, lifting the crown of your head tall. Exhale out through your mouth, chin to chest. Round through your upper back, all the way down to your tailbone. As you exhale next, lift and stack your spine. Now this time, big breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth, chin to chest. Round your way down. When you come all the way down to your mat, soften your knees and walk your hands all the way out into a plank position. Now from here, try to stack your shoulders over your wrists. Find a nice, comfortable place here so you're up on the balls of your feet. Pulling your navel up towards your spine. You're lifting and engaging your abdominal muscles as you hold in plank and breathe. A strong breath in through your nose and right back out through your mouth. Almost like you're blowing out a birthday candle. Now, as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your toes and slowly stack your spine all the way up to that nice, tall standing position. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale, chin to chest. Soften your knees, begin to walk your hands out into plank. Draw your belly button nice and tight. Lift and open up your shoulder blades. So think about pushing your upper back towards the ceiling. Now, if you want to modify this pose, you can drop down onto your knees and hold here. Otherwise, you can stay up on your toes and continue to hold and breathe. One more breath in and all the way out. Now, tucking your toes under, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Lift and stack your spine. Big breath in again. Exhale out, chin to chest. Walk out to plank, broaden your shoulder blades, scoop your navel up and in, pull your forehead and the very top of your head forward. We're thinking about lengthening just, not just your back, but from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. Good, now exhale, walk your hands back towards your toes, inhale and exhale as you lift. Now stepping forward with your right foot, bring it to about the middle of your mat. Lift your left foot away from your mat so you're balanced. Now spread your fingertips apart as you extend your arms forward. And if you feel comfortable doing so, you can tip further forwards and hold almost in a flying, sort of a superhero pose. Now there's a little bit of a bend in your right knee. Your left leg is long behind you like you're pulling your toes away from your hip. 
Focus on drawing your belly in and then taking a big step back with your left foot, returning it to the mat. Now coming back into that lunge position again, lift your arms up nice and tall so your thoracic cavity stays extended. And we're gonna just start to touch that left knee gently down to the mat, coming down and then lifting back up. Coming down and lifting up. Now think about breathing in as you come down and breathing out as you lift. Just a few more times here. Building some warmth and some heat within both of your legs. Good. Now, in a moment, we're going to spring forward. So when you feel ready, try to lift your left foot away from your mat, taking all of your body weight into your right leg. Now, we're going to come back into that flying superhero position. Now, this time, Bend your elbows, bend your left knee and tuck everything underneath your torso and then extend all the way out. Start to do this with your breath, breathing in as you tuck and breathing out as you reach. Just as many times as you feel comfortable doing. And if you're not comfortable doing this, you can simply hold and uh, keep your arms and your leg extended. All right. Big step back with that left foot. Let's come back to your lunge. Little drop down and lift. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Try to keep your shoulders down away from your ears too. So even though, so even though your arms are extended, we're not lifting your shoulders towards your ears. This isn't a tense position. All right, big lift forward. Oh, find your balance. And when you're ready, little tuck and reach. Tuck and reach. Think about lengthening from your fingertips all the way down to your toes. You should feel a good amount of warmth in that right leg. Good. Just a few more times in and out. Whew. Definitely feeling that. <laughs> all right, we're going to switch sides now. So step forward with your left foot, lift your right foot away from your mat, spread your fingertips apart and extend your arms forward, right leg goes back. Now leaning forward with your chest, this is where we really need to engage those core muscles. Draw your belly button in tight, use your abdominal muscles to help support the entire length of your body. Now big step back, we're gonna bring that right foot to the mat and gently just tap that right knee down to the mat and lift, down and lift. And then do your best as you're lunging here to make sure that your front knee, in this case your left, isn't pushing forward past your toes. So if you can look down, you should still be able to see just the tips of your toes. All right, we're gonna lift that, uh, that right foot off the mat coming back into our superhero position. Now adding that tuck and that reach, inhale, exhale. Big breath in and out. Really punctuating that, that stretch out with a, a strong exhale. A few more times in and out, let's do. Good, big step back, bringing your right foot to the mat. Let's tap down and lift, down and lift. Good job. A few more times down and up. All right, well, let's step forward into that left foot, lifting your right foot up, big lift up, there we go. And adding your tuck and your reach. Keep your arms up nice and high. If you can, aim to keep your arms at about the same height as your ears. Good job, big step back. Coming into the lunge position for the last time. We're gonna drop down, little tap and lift. Drop and lift. Continue to pull your navel in towards your spine. Remember the core remains active even as we're focusing on your legs here. 
Good job, you made it. Awesome, shake out those legs. And uh, let's walk back to the end of your mat. Good work. Big breath in, let's stand up tall. Exhale out, chin to chest, round through your back again, just like we did at the start. Walk your hands out into your plank position, either from your knees or from your toes. Let's separate your shoulder blades as you lift and open your upper back towards the sky. A couple of strong breaths in, and exhale. Beautiful, now lifting your right foot up. I want you to step your right foot up beside, almost right beside your right hand. We're going to turn those toes away from your mat. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling and take your gaze towards the ceiling as well. Now, the more you press into your right foot, the higher you're going to be able to lift your hips. This is a really nice side body stretch. Now, bring your right hand back down to the mat. Step your right foot back and we're going to switch sides here. But before we do, three strong breaths in through your nose out through your mouth. Now with that really strong and active core, let's take your left foot up. Step it right up beside that left hand. Turn your toes away from your mat. Extend your left arm toward the sky and take your gaze up as well. Don't forget to push down through your right foot to lift your hips. Beautiful. Plant your left hand and step your left foot back to join your right. Now, three strong breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One final breath. Beautiful. Let's walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale when you get there. And as you exhale out, begin to lift yourself all the way up. Stack your spine. The crown of your head is the very last thing to lift. Beautiful. All right, stepping to the middle of your mat, take your arms out nice and wide, spread your fingers apart, lift your right foot away from your mat and take your right leg in a nice circular motion out to the side. We're gonna trace a big circle in the air with your big toe. Now, the bigger your circle, the more you're gonna have to work. So if you're feeling a little wobbly or a little unstable, just make your circle a little smaller. Now, let's reverse your circle. Go the other way. Good. Belly button pulls in, engaging through your core muscles. It'll help with your balance. Now pause. We're going to lift your right leg up and down. Up and down. Just as high as you feel comfortable going, but let's start to challenge your gluteal muscles a little more. Maybe taking that leg just a touch higher than you want to. Good. Just two more times. One more. Now keep your right foot up if you can. Avoid touching the floor. Let's sweep your right foot in front, out to the side, and then behind you, squeezing your glutes. So front, out to the side, back behind, and out to the side. Make sure when you draw that foot behind you, you are squeezing your gluteal muscles. Good, good, just one more time. Nice job, all right, let's plant your right foot, shift your weight, lift your left. We'll start with your hip circle. So nice, big circle traced through the air with your big toe. times around. Let's do four more. Three more. There's two. All right. To reverse your circle, let's go the other way. Now, if you can, through this whole side leg series, try to keep your foot away from the floor so that left foot is going to stay lifted. Just four more. There's three, two. Now, keep your left foot up. Let's do those lifts. So, left leg lifts and lowers. Up and down. Check in with your core. Reactivate those muscles if they've let go. Draw your navel towards your spine. Keep your shoulders relaxed as well. Just two more lifts and one. 
Beautiful. Now sweep your left foot in front. Take it out to the side. Draw it behind you. Take it out to the side again. Every time you draw your leg back behind you, squeeze your glutes. Let's do one more front to the side, back and to the side. Excellent, good job. All right, plant both of your feet. Let's keep your arms extended out. Now we're gonna turn your palms up to the ceiling and then your thumb down to the floor. Nice shoulder rotation here, up and down, up and down. Now, no matter what, I want you to keep your arms lifted and extended. You're gonna to start to feel your shoulders and your upper back, but let's see if we can push through this burn. Okay, just a few more times, flipping those palms up and down. Excellent. All right. Now, Turn your palms forward and begin to draw the tops of your hand toward the wall behind you. So we're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together and then relax, squeeze and relax. Oh, keep your chest up. Keep stretching your fingertips towards the walls. You should be starting to feel your uh, your shoulders now. All right, flip your palms away from you and imagine you're pushing something away from your body on either side. So we're gonna do a little push out, a little push out, press. Make an effort to push against that imaginary resistance. There's a lot of strength in your arms here. Press and press. Okay, pause. Now, flip your palms up and down. We're gonna just go back to the beginning here. A little bit more speed this time. A few more. Up and down. Okay, pause. Palms forward, let's draw the tops of your hand back. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Okay, palms away, let's push out, out. Push away from your body. Keep your arms active. On. you can push a little bit harder good one more time we're gonna flip up and down up and down so this is the third round we're going through all of these arms arm exercises again just hang in there I know you can do it okay palm good draw your hands back squeeze release there you go keep stretching your fingertips out don't let your arms start to drop Almost there. Okay, press away from your body. Little push out, push out. Don't give up yet. Whew. Okay, you can give up now. <laughs> Good job. Let's walk back to the end of your mat. Take your feet about hip width apart. Stand up tall, big breath in. And exhale out, chin to chest. Round through your back. Let's walk out to plank. Okay, strong breath in, engage your core. Draw the crown of your head forward. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Let's take one more breath. Good, bring your knees to the mat. A little press back into a child's pose position. Anytime you need a rest, this is a good place to go. Flipping over now into a seated position, extend your arms and legs out in front of you. Take your legs about hip width apart and soften your knees. Engaging your core, lean about halfway back, maybe a little less. And as you breathe in, lift your arms up and exhale, draw them down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Now you'll notice there's a big difference in how this feels as you lift your arms up and draw them down. As you lift, it definitely gets harder for your core to hold, and as you lower, it gets easier. Continue to work with your breath. Inhale as you lift, 
exhale as you lower and if you'd like to modify this you can simply lean back and hold not lifting your arms or you can take them not quite as high now let's extend your arms out lift your uh, left foot up and go back to that arm lift inhale as you lift and exhale as you lower just keeping that left knee soft leg a little ways away from the floor Keeping a nice stable core here, let's hold. Try not to let go. Lift your right leg up now and do the same lift with your arms. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. set that right foot down. Now lifting your left up again. Let's see if we can add both legs. So both left and right. Inhale as you lift and exhale as you lower. And if you try this, it really doesn't feel like your cup of tea. Set both of your heels down and keep your heels in contact with the mat as you lift. A few more times. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. All right, bring your elbows and your forearms to the mat just behind you. So elbows are sitting just underneath your shoulders. Now, as you breathe in, I want you to extend your legs out. Now continue to breathe in and out. Don't hold your breath. And we're going to make what we call a Pilates V. So that's where we clip your heels together, turn your toes out. Legs are long, as long as they could possibly be. So think about drawing your toes away from your hips. Now as much as you can, I'd like you to squeeze your legs together. Good, now let them go. Little bend to the knees as you relax and we'll do it again. Heels together, toes turn out. Now squeeze your legs together. So calves, inner thighs, they squeeze together like you're trying to, to pop a, a balloon that's in between your legs. Good, let it go. Again, extend your legs, make that Pilates V now. Now squeeze, don't hold back. Squeeze really hard. Pull your belly button in, nice strong breath in and out. One more breath, you can do it. And let it go. Good. Knees to chest. Roll down onto your back. Now rocking all the way up to sitting here. Extend your arms out in front of you. Draw your belly button in tight. Hinge back from your hips. So again, about a halfway lean back toward the mat. Now as you breathe in, lift your arms up and breathe out as you bring them down. We're going through this again. Good. You're about halfway there. Pausing, let's lift your left. Continue going up and down with your arms, keeping that left leg floating. And try not to grip your legs too much here. So keep them as relaxed as you possibly can. A few more times up and down. All right, pause, let's trade legs. Inhale up, exhale down. Sound like a broken record, but belly to spine. Let's pull your navel in a little bit tighter here. There we go, good job. All right, let's see if we can lift both legs together. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep your chest high, try not to round through your spine or collapse into your chest. Lifting up and down, think about Puffing your chest up, lifting it up nice and proud. Almost there. Good, all right, plant your forearms just behind you now. Inhale, Pilates V. Good job, squeeze those legs together really tight. Keep breathing in and out. One more breath. And exhale, release. Let's do it again. Extend your legs out, heels together, toes out. Squeeze your legs together a little harder, a little harder, a little more. One more breath, and release. One more time. Lengthen your legs out, squeeze. Squeeze really, really hard, belly in. One more breath. Excellent, good job, release. All right, let's roll over onto your hands and your knees now. 
Now extending your legs back into a plank position, you can drop to your knees if you'd like to modify this. Remember, pull your navel in towards your spine. Open up your upper back by drawing your shoulder blades apart. A few strong breaths here. All right, let's try lifting your left leg up. Bring your left knee towards your left elbow. See if you can touch it. Now big step back, plant your left foot. Right leg. Bring your knee up towards your right elbow. Now send it back and plant your foot. Switch sides. We call this a mountain climber. With your breath, inhale now, knee to elbow, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Keep working with the pace of your own breath. Good job, all right, holding in plank, three strong breaths. Don't let go, keep pulling your navel in. Support your lower back. Beautiful, now let's see if we can press slowly down towards the mat, take your time. Good, okay. I'm just wiggling back to make a little bit more room on my mat. Let's take your arms and your legs out. Now you can rest your forehead on your mat if your head is feeling tired, but if you can possibly, I'd like you to lift your head and just float your forehead above your mat now. Arms and legs are gonna lift up as we engage the posterior chain. Let's try that again. Lift your arms and your legs up. And lower down now. With your breath, let's try to breathe in this time as we lift and exhale as we lower. Breathe in as you lift, exhale as you lower. Now this isn't so much about lifting your chest, it's more about lifting your arms and your legs. So think of this as a four limb lift, up and down. Keep looking down towards your mat. Don't crane your neck, don't lift your chin up. Avoid looking forwards. Good, now let's lift up and hold. I want you to bend your elbows and dig them in towards your rib cage. Now stretch your arms out and we'll do it again. Elbows into ribs, stretch out. Keep floating your legs, don't let them go. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. Little quicker, we're gonna breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Think about hugging your rib cage every time you draw your elbows back. A little bit more power here. This is a lot of work for your back, a lot of work for your glutes. Good, release, let it go. All right, walk your hands back. Now tuck your toes or your knees under. Let's lift all the way back up to plank. Here we go. All right, now's the time. Show me how you're getting really good at engaging your core belly in. Open up your upper back. Draw the crown of your head forwards. All right, let's go back to that mountain climber. Lift your left knee, bring it up to left elbow, step it back. Right knee up, step it back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. One more time on each side and release. All right. Now pulling your belly button still up and in three strong breaths as you hold. Good job, let's see if we can slowly, slowly press down to the mat, chaturanga, if you're familiar with yoga. Okay, make space on your mat, extend your arms and your legs out. Let's get ready to lift those four limbs. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Squeeze and release. Keep your legs as long as you can. Avoid bending your knees and avoid letting your legs flare out to the side too. A little bit of a squeeze with your inner thighs is very important to keep those glutes activated. Now, lifting and holding, we're gonna pull your elbows towards your rib cage and extend them out. Breathe in as you pull back, breathe out as you reach. Good job, nice hugging of the rib cage. A few more times. There we go, release, good job. Okay, walk your hands back. Tuck your toes or your knees under, big push up to plank when you're ready. 
or into child's pose. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Taking a few nice, relaxing breaths in child's pose. Notice all of the work that you've done, how good and how warm your body feels. Let's flip over to seated. And from here, roll yourself all the way down onto your back when you're ready, take your time. Try to rock your lower back flat to the mat. Pull your belly button in and kick your legs up into the air. Bending your knees, bring your fingertips to the sides of your head. Lift your head up and tuck your chin in towards your chest. I'd like you to be looking at your thighs, not the ceiling. Now extend your left leg out and pull your right knee even closer towards you. Now lifting your left shoulder off of your mat, let's move your left shoulder joint closer to your right knee. Now it's important here that you draw your elbow back. Switch sides. You're gonna draw your elbow back. Let's switch again. So remember, we're leading with your shoulder joint, not with your elbow joint. You should not see your elbows in your peripheral vision. This is our bicycle. Breathe in as you cross and come back to center. Good. Now moving into scissors. Let's extend one leg straight to the sky and one leg out towards the wall. Switch them. You can gently hold on to the thigh that is closest to you. It'll help you to lift your upper back further away from the mat. Now, if you're okay with that, a further challenge is to take your hands off of your thigh, extend your arms and spread your fingers apart. Now, it becomes harder to lift your upper back and keep your chin tucked in here. So be mindful of your body. If it feels too much, connect your hands with your thigh once again. All right. Go back to bicycle. One knee bends and the opposite shoulder lifts and crosses. Think about breathing in to one side and breathing out to the other side. A few more times. Good, scissors. Either connecting with your thigh or not, Switch those legs. Keep them as long as you can and keep both legs perpetually in motion so they never really stop. Oh, chin to chest, keep pulling your navel down towards the floor. Now let's go through this one more time. Back to bicycle. Lift your shoulder, cross it over. Breathe in, breathe out. Pull your elbow back. There we go. All right, last time to scissors. Here we go. One leg and the other. Scoop your belly down. You have a very clear view of your abdomen. So you should visually see your abdominal muscles working and pulling in towards the floor. Hold on. Knees to chest, let it go. Good job. Nice, relaxing breaths here. All right. Drop your feet to the mat. Just walk them a little further out. We're going to move into a roll up here. So I'd like you to lift your toes and just rest your heels about hip width apart. Now start by holding onto your thighs, lifting your head up and curling your back away from the floor. This is done slower than you want to go. <laughs> now we're going to roll all the way back, so take your time. Let's see if we can press each vertebra down one at a time. Do it again. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Lift your head. I've taken my hands away this time, so if you feel confident enough with this movement, you can take your hands off your thigh and not hold on to your legs. It does become harder if you do so. Big breath in. 
and exhale out lift your head up chin in towards your chest curl your spine we're looking for a rounded lift now breathe in sit tall and breathe out as you scoop your belly button in and press your spine into the floor breathe in breathe out pull in and down with your belly Breathe in as you lift and breathe out as you roll back. Now I know this, this movement looks easier than it is. It takes a tremendous amount of core strength and control. So don't be frustrated if you're struggling with this. Remember, keeping your hands behind your thighs is a fabulous way to modify. And you will, over time, build the strength to do this without your hands connected to your legs, I promise. Just be patient, remember, you're here to build your body stronger, you're not here to build your frustration. Let's do this two more times. Big breath in and as you exhale, curl your chin in towards your chest, begin to round yourself all the way up to sitting, lifting nice and tall. Inhale up and exhale as you round back. Use your abdominals to push your spine into the floor one more time. Good. Now, as you come back, we're going to hold it about the halfway point. Breathe in as you open your arms wide to the sides and breathe out as you close them in front of your body. Work with your breath here. Pull your belly button in, try to keep your chest high, open those arms as wide as you can out to the sides. Good. Now take one arm out to the side and the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Switch sides, one arm up, one arm out. When you take your arm out to the side, I want you to follow it with your gaze. So you never take your eyes away from that hand. You keep your eyes on your fingers. Open and close. Open and close. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, let's roll all the way down to the mat here, but with the same amount of control you had before. Now big breath in, we're gonna go into your roll up, exhale out, chin to chest slowly don't rush good sit tall breathe in and as you breathe out again about halfway back we're going to hold now lift your arms as you breathe in oh no open <laughs> forgot what I was doing there <laughs> inhale as you open and exhale as you close Taking those hands a little bit further back if you can, really opening them really wide. Now, let's split your arms. Inhale as you turn out, exhale as you come to center. Breathe in, breathe out. Belly button in, chest high. Relaxing through your legs, not tensing up around your knees or your hips. All right, inhale. As you exhale, continue that roll down to the mat. Head touches, breathe in, exhale out, belly in, lift all the way up to sitting. Sitting tall, inhale, exhale again, halfway back. Open your arms really wide to the side. Inhale and exhale. Let's do a few more. You're about halfway there. Time to split your arms, turn to the side, and switch. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, rolling all the way up to sitting. You're done there, good job. Okay, flip over onto your hands and your knees come down onto your elbows. Extend your right leg back behind you and lift your straight right leg up towards the ceiling. Lift as high as you can and lower. 
When you lower your leg, make sure your big toe touches the floor every time. The goal here is to keep your leg as long as you can. We're not bending your knee. We're drawing your toes away from your hip. Now speeding up a little more, let's breathe in as we lift and out as we lower. Lift up and down, up and down. Good. Now lift that right leg back up into the air. Cross it over your left leg. Come back up and then bring it straight down. So we're going to lift, cross over, lift up and down. A little quicker here, let's speed up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lift, cross, lift and lower. Use your abdominal muscles here to stabilize your spine so we're not twisting around excessively. We're maintaining a nice, strong, solid core. your right leg straight up into the air and we're going to pulse up and down. This is a teeny tiny movement, keeping your leg extended as you go. Lift and lower, lift and lower, up and down, up and down. Keep your toes pointed down towards the floor. Good job. Now bend your right knee and bring your knee towards your right elbow. Bring it up. See if you can touch your triceps. A little quicker. Breathe in now and out. Breathe in as you touch, breathe out as you extend. Working right into that side body. If you can't quite touch your knee to your elbow, just get it as close as you can. Good work. All right, bring your right knee down to the mat. We're going to switch sides. Extend your left leg and start with a long leg, straight lift up, and down. Always returning your toes to the floor, always tapping down. Quicker. Breathe in, breathe out. Now's the time. Re engage your core. You found that strong movement pattern. You can kind of go onto autopilot, but don't forget, this is all about your core. All right, let's cross that leg over and bring it straight down. So we lift, we cross over, touch the floor, come up and straight down. Good, all right, let's start to speed up just a little more. Lift, cross, lift, and lower. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You're doing great. Keep your leg long. Don't let your knee bend. Now lift your leg up. Hold it up. Let's pulse up and down, up and down, as small as you possibly can. Good. Here's two. And there's one. Awesome. your knees, lift them up into the air over your hips. We're going to do a hip circle. So we take your legs around, out to the side and up to center. Nice big sweep around and up. Big sweep around and up. Now if you want to make this movement more challenging, start to take away some of the bend from your knees. The more you lengthen your legs, the harder this becomes. 
If your legs are going a little bit longer or even completely straight, I challenge you to connect your heels and show me that Pilates V that we were practicing earlier. Heels together, toes out. Engaging squeeze between your two legs. Now let's bend your knees again. See if you can lift your arms away from the floor. Come up to what we call a V-sit position. So you're balanced just above your tailbone. If you want to modify, you can set both of your heels down. Otherwise, keep your legs up. Now, if your legs are up, let's cross one over the other. Criss, cross. And we're crossing not just your calves, but we're crossing your upper legs as well. Keep pulling your belly button in. Keep your chest nice and high. A few more times, one over the other. Good. Plant your elbows behind you, back to hip circles. Big circle around and up. Start to breathe in as you circle around and breathe out as you circle up. Breathe in and breathe out. Reminder as well, if you're feeling the need for a rest, please do take it. Good job, bend your knees. Let's lift away from the floor with your arms. Come up to V-sit. Cross your legs one over the other. Criss, cross. Keep pulling in with your belly button. Keep your chest high. A few more times. Your whole body is working hard, I know. Good, plant your elbows back to hip circles one final time. Knees bent or legs closer to straight. Remember, you're honoring your body. You're making it as challenging as you need, but not so challenging that it's undoable. Let's come up to V set. Good. Criss and cross. Criss and cross. Don't hold your breath. If anything, focus on inhaling and exhaling. Whew. A lot of work. Good job. Okay. Flip over onto your hands and your knees. start to slow things down here and begin to stretch your body out. Now start by lifting your forehead, dropping your tummy and lifting your tailbone high. Think about pulling your heart forwards. This is a great way to stretch your abdominals. Now bring your chin up towards your chest, round your back towards the sky, look towards your thighs and think about drawing every bone in your back apart. Let's do this again. Lift your forehead up, draw your heart forwards, drop your tummy down. Round your spine up, chin in towards your chest. Good, lift your heart up, belly down. Now turn your head to one side, it doesn't matter which, look towards that hip. switch sides. Good. Head comes back to center. For one final time, tuck your chin towards your chest, arch your back and lift. right foot towards the front of your mat. Leave your left knee behind you. Lift your arms up towards the sky and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. As much as you can, allow your left hip to fall gently forwards. You have a little bit more space in your chest here to breathe. 
thread release. Now bring your hands to either side of that front foot and step it back. Switch sides. Left foot steps towards your, the front of your mat. Sweep your arms forward and up. Allow your right hip to fall gently forwards. Beautiful. Let's exhale and release. Now step that left foot back to join your right. Take your knees out to the edges of your mat. Touch your big toes together. Plant your right hand under your nose and sweep your left arm up towards the ceiling. Look up towards your fingertips if you can and think about opening that left armpit towards the ceiling. As you let this go, bring your left arm underneath your body and press your left shoulder gently into your mat. Rest the side of your forehead on your mat as well and lengthen your right arm forwards. Relax into this position. Good. Pull your right hand in and lift back up to hands and knees. Let's switch sides. This time, sweep your right arm towards the ceiling. Open your right armpit. Take your gaze up towards your fingertips. Good. Now, after you've thread the needle on that side, bringing that shoulder into the mat, relaxing for as much as you need to, I'd like you to meet me in a child's pose. After a few breaths, tuck your toes under, lift your knees away from your mat, and walk your hands back towards your feet. Breathe in as we're so practiced doing. Breathe out, and just let your head fall towards the floor. Maybe give it a little shake side to side or a little nod up and down. And the next time you exhale, begin to lengthen through your legs, and slowly start to round yourself up to standing. Take your time, build your body up. Roll your shoulders down, you're done.